<laughs> let's talk about age gaps in dating, you guys. We've seen a lot of situations. I got to take my glasses off. Y'all got to be serious. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of situations, you know what I'm saying, with the age gaps with the men and the women. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How do we feel about that? Is it possible? Do you think someone that's older than you can watch you grow up and genuinely be interested in a relationship mm. that, and in, not in a predatory way? So could you date somebody that's 15 years older than you mm -hmm. and that's, that's genuinely just with you for you and not predatory? Cuddy. I think it has to do with the actual range, right? Like when you're 30 you're with somebody that's 45, that's different. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you're 25 with somebody, you know, who's 15 or less or seven, you know, like then it gets a little like I, I don't want it. That's when the, the water get money. Yeah, because... Yeah intellectually mentally like as an adult you know how impressionable you are at that age mm -hmm. how uh naive how you Gullible. know yeah all, all that. that you know so i just really feel yeah. like how do you truly have a connection with somebody who is so immature and underdeveloped so i i kind of feel like sometimes it's predatory but also people want to groom mm -hmm. and you know they they feel mm -hmm. like it's a good thing like oh I can lead them in the right direction, you know, like I can raise them and train them in, in, in a way that's best suitable for me. But right. a lot of the time, that's a manipulative way because it's mm -hmm. what you want them to do for your for own you personal benefit. Mm -hmm. Can I get, let me give you pushback mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Some people might be at that age mentally still, right? Who, the older person? The older person. That oh, older person That older person might still be 25 in their head, oh, going to the club every weekend, only prioritizing their friends but a little bit. But I feel like that's not and healthy. And things like that. Yeah, yeah, that ain't no damn... That's so unhealthy. That's, 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 that's yeah, toxic. That's, that's still like, unhealthy. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get into it For then. you to be that grown and still acting that young in age is a problem within itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, I feel like everybody always talking about men doing it versus women. I agree 100% with what she said. It's about the range. When you 30, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You about life, you have been living life on your own for a while, you figuring it out. I feel like when somebody is in their early 20s, 20, I'ma say probably 20 to 27. Mm -hmm. I feel like nobody in their late 30s, 40s got no business dealing with that age range because the immature, the, the you, it's so much of a difference. Let them between. start figuring out life. Yeah. I feel like when you were in your 20s, when I look, so I, I actually fell victim to this when Me I was, too. when I you, was 24. We should be living, right? Too. When yeah. I was 24, I fell victim to this. And I dated this guy who was, he was like, what, 15 years older than me? And literally, like, kind of, like, changed the whole world. It was disgusting. Um, at that time, I was really focused on being an artist. I was, like, one of the popular club promoters. And... He was so intimidated by the path that I was on. It was, it was really weird because it's like I met him in the club, but mm -hmm. he was so intimidated by the path that I was on and by the attention that I got and stuff like that. He was like, no, let me cage this bird. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of the times with older men, when they're attracted to younger women, they try to get them to dim that light yeah. that attracted them to begin with. Cuddy, is that your experience too? No. Um, or no. can you identify with that? I have experienced that vague, like a little bit, but I've also experienced somebody who lied to me about their age. I always say, like, once you lie about your age, you're a pedophile. Because oh. there is no Truth. way yeah. that you should be telling people that you're younger than you. You should be embarrassed yeah. of your yeah. age. Yeah. yeah. And he didn't have any facial hair or anything. That's why, like, I do not deal with guys without facial hair. I'll be like, mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, they scare me anyway. I don't know what you're trying to do. Like, I, no, I'm talking about nothing. Give so, me I was, <laughs> some. <laughs> I, was, I was in my teens, and he told me that he was like 21, 22. And then he went to jail, and I looked him up, and he was 27. Mm. Oh, and I was he like, said he's how old? I'm 21, 22. Oh, he is a creep. Yeah. What do a man get out of that? He's a creep. Trying to mess with somebody Because they be embarrassed younger. that you but, know you're too grown to be it, dealing with and it, and it, no matter, we stopped dealing with each other, but as time went on, the girl still stayed my age, even though he got older. Yeah. That was and his then type. now, he's in jail for like 168 years. For before, what? Um, Damn. Set, like rape and, mm. and child pornography mm. and all of that stuff. And I didn't even know. Oh my God. Black twist. That like is bro. crazy. Yeah. 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 I would say, so let me flip it though. Mm. I'm agreeing with you. Mm. Now, as I'm getting older, I'm mm. seeing it that way. But the 22 year old me, I was dating somebody 44. Of course. Mm -hmm. Literally 20 years older than me, mm -hmm. 22. But me at 22, 
some like some people argue when you're young, you want to be outside, you should be living. Mm -hmm. I was like thriving with my hair. I had my condo early. Mm -hmm. I was, I didn't want to be doing mm -hmm. what most 22 year old girls was doing. Yeah. I had no place in the club. I would go out, feel awkward, wasting money. Like so, I naturally was gravitating to a guy who would get with me and be like, you know. Mm -hmm. What some people would say was doing grown men stuff, yeah. but I had no place in the fun stuff with the 22 year olds mm -hmm. was doing. So, so you felt like at that time, let's sit back, let me talk to her real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lean back. Because what, <laughs> what happens is that 21, you get to, when you get to, you hit that 21, 22, you start smelling yourself and you mm -hmm. think you grown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You thought you had no place in them clubs because you was too grown for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that, that nigga was, was too, no fun. that nigga was too grown for you. Yeah. It, now, it's, it's ways to hang out and still be young and fun without it just being club shit. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We can get the beach, we can hit the mall with the friends, we can have girls night inside. Yeah. Them old niggas be preying on us mm -hmm. and they know yeah. what they be doing. Mm -hmm. You, you, and you thought it was your idea, right? Like, oh no, this, <laughs> this is beneath me. You yeah. still thought it was your idea. I'm you not just said it. You ain't it. Was it. it was it's not mine. You're right, because then today, in your head, if I had a daughter that was 22 today, me, I would yeah. be like, why are you interested in this 40 year old man? Mm -hmm. Why is he interested in you? Yeah. And I would try to, mm -hmm. like my mom was doing, but yeah. for me, it was like I was hanging with the guys who was 22 through 25, and I would just be like, yeah. These niggas smell like me. <laughs> like, what are we <laughs> talking about on this date? Is this really how you think crazy it's... how yeah. this be the main conversation about men preying on women mm. versus women preying on men? Okay, okay. men do it too. I mean, Poppy, Chulu. I'm so Charlo. All sorry. Them. Okay, all, yeah. all, all, all three of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what, what do you want to talk about, Cindy? They were going to even out the play field. <laughs> he talking about the cougars. Who, okay, so what's wrong with the cougars? <laughs> um. Well, just that in itself, right? Because mm -hmm. you justify preying on young men as mm. just being a cougar. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's not okay. I don't think it's okay for nobody. Yeah, to be no we cougar. already know the, the what the pre the current situation that we we both spoke on or whatever the case. Oh, we gonna say it. Who's Drea? Drea. Yeah, you know, Drea. Like, yeah. Like, like, yeah. I'm like, yo, that's absolutely wrong. For one, I you all, you you older, you know better, and you yeah. know that boy at that point of time. That man probably used to jack off to you back in the day. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? To the point yeah. where now he finally can get what he's been imagining because this long time. Because of his money and status. Because of his money and status. Yeah. yeah. And she knows this. Because if he didn't have that, she, she would not She wouldn't be checking twice. for him. She wouldn't be checking not that big old contract that boy just got. Like, and, there's, it, and there's older men in the NBA. No. <laughs> and you've been with the older no, men. No, why not get the old men? Oh, you've been with the older men. Whoa. This is what get me. Well, why not get pregnant by the old OG money? No, Because the OG money not going to get you pregnant. Yeah. They know better. They know better. They why. They go, this is what it was for me. This is what it was for me. Come on. <laughs> I'm a mother. I have a son. My son is a teenager. He's 15 years old. Come on. So I'm just not understanding, even as a woman. Yeah. She's 39. He's 22. Her son is 21. It's How crazy. in your head mm -hmm. are you justifying this? Mm -hmm. He's one. He's one year older Your than the person Your son is you 21. Yeah. It's called yeah. an unconscious coochie. We don't talk about coochie. that. Coochie with I the don't bag. care how mature you think he no, is. No, she's a coochie with a C. Your yeah. son <laughs> is 21. It's sick. Like, ain't, ain't no way. Uh, ain't no way. Because would you fuck his friends? No I just birthed a baby yeah. a yeah. year. Yeah. Can I say that? After you were Twice. born, I birthed a son. That's yeah. crazy. And now I'm having your baby? Yeah. No, I don't care. That's, yeah. that's no, creep shit, right? Creepy. Man, what? I think it's creepy. And I also think that, I think that I've seen like men that date girls around their daughter's age. When I tell you, I would be, I would be utterly disgusted and embarrassed. Mm -hmm. My mom and dad are, are married, right? But uh, as a young girl, I learned that my dad was a man and did things that some men do sometimes. So that is what it is. Mm -hmm. But one thing my dad always took pride in, I remember one time um, him and his friends were watching music videos and a video of Aaliyah came on. Mm -hmm. And his friends were like, oh, she look good. Da, 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 da. She look good. My dad was like, I ain't look at her like that. Like, she look like my daughter and she damn near my daughter's age. Mm, yeah, now, granted, okay. she's 10 years older than me. <laughs> no, but yeah. But I respect, I, I, y'all, yeah. that's a core yeah. memory. You yeah, feel me? Y'all know yeah. how I was 10, 11 years old when that mm -hmm. happened. And that stuck to me. Like, my dad was like, I could never look at her in a sexual way. I have kids her age. Right. <laughs> and I really, I, looking back at that yeah. and seeing how the, the state of the world right now, I really respect and appreciate my dad's standing on that and his perspective on that. Because mm -hmm. I would, like I said, I would be so embarrassed, embarrassed and taken aback if, you know, you, you mm -hmm. especially nowadays, you get to doing things outside of your situation and it come back, come back to, to the people it come back to. Mm -hmm. That would be embarrassing. Mm -hmm. You yeah. fucking up somebody as my age that I might have went to school with or something like that? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm yeah. straight on that's that. That's when morals and, and that's you know, integrity start that. coming in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, even for me, like, I can't even watch a lot of 
Yeah. Because I remember her from the rap game. Yeah. And my first time I saw her was on the rap game. So it's like for me to watch this young girl. Now she's okay, okay yeah, she's going to a grown woman, but I still remember her as that little kid. Yeah. So even that's how you was introduced yeah, to her. Yeah. Be like that. 